This video is going to show you how you can adjust your table inside of Canvas by adding rows and changing colors. So here I've got a table started and what I want to do is add a row in between each day. So I'm just going to click my mouse into that box there. I come over here and as I hover it's going to give me some options and I want the one that says insert row before or insert row after it depends on how you want to do it so i'm going to do the one before because i want to put a row in between each day so then i'm going to come back here and i'm going to do the one after and then i will continue to do that before and then i'll do the after so that i have an extra row in between each day now what i want to do is change the color of this row to something else to kind of define it. So with this one, you'll need another website. And if you just go to Google and type in HTML color names, you're going to get lots of websites. This happens to be my favorite. If you want to hit pause and write this down, you can, but it's w3schools.com slash colors slash colors um, underline name names dot ASP. Uh, this one's my favorite, but like I said, if you Google HTML color names, you're going to get websites. So here are all the different colors you can pick from. I'm going to pick a dark green. Um, Actually, am I a light green? Yeah, I'll pick a dark green. It'll go with that. I can either highlight and copy this number, or if I don't like this exact color, I can go to the color picker and I can get a different shade of it. So maybe I'll do this shade and then I will highlight and copy that just control C copies and I'm going to come back here and I've got my row highlighted but what I need to do now is go to properties so I'm going to come over here on my computer it's the three dots if you see this icon somewhere here this is the icon you're looking for but I'm going to come down here to cell properties I'm going to go to advanced and I want the color to be what I wanted that dark green so I pasted in control letter V as in veterinarian. I'm going to hit save and now you can see that that row is a dark color and I could repeat that process so I highlight. Again I'm looking for this icon, cell properties, advanced, background color, paste it in and I can continue that process until they are all taken care of. Likewise, as I'm doing this, if there was a color that I already had, like this light green that I wanted to change, it's the same process. We go to the table, cell properties, advance, and change the color. Or maybe I needed to know what exactly is this color. So let's try that. So I would go to the table, cell properties, advanced. Here's the color. I could copy it and then use that color again somewhere else if I was trying to match the color. All right, if you ever have any questions about tables inside of Canvas or coloring backgrounds, just give me an email. Thanks.